Getty Scotland is expected to have two more weeks of snow and icy rain weather warnings remain in force for the east of the country and Charlie Powell of the Met Office said we should expect further alerts for snow, sleet and icy rain. Looking further ahead, prevailing conditions present a picture of further miserable weather for Scotland for the next two weeks. He said, the last week's terrible weather was caused by high pressure over Scandinavia, drawing down bitterly cold air from Russia over the UK. Next week, we will still have cold air but weather fronts are trying to move in. Thursday, March 1, 2018 A woman makes her way through the snow in Balak, Scotland The long-range forecast to the middle of March suggests things remain cold and unsettled, with the northern half of the UK remaining snowy Charlie Powell, Met Office, when those two collide, the result will throw up rain and sleet for Tuesday and Wednesday rather than the pure snow we have seen, Thursday and Friday look a bit drier but, come next weekend, a deep area of low pressure coming from the south will. Bring more persistent snow, the long-range forecast to the middle of March suggests things remain cold and unsettled, with the northern half of the UK remaining snowy, this will be wet snow, rather than the powdery stuff we have seen recently. The local community of Larbert began clearing the grounds of Canard Primary School meanwhile, schools which were closed by extreme weather face a struggle to be able to reopen tomorrow morning, in Larbert, Stirlingshire, around 100 parents, teachers and children armed with shovels and spades cleared the snow from Canard Primary School. Deputy Head Teacher Laura Swan said, I think there's an element of parents being desperate to get the kids back out the house but it's also the reality that the school wouldn't be able to open without this so they're just pulling together. Other schools around the country are doing likewise with Abbey Hill Primary in Edinburgh organizing a snow clearing party today. An emergency funding scheme has been opened for local authorities in the wake of the storm after Borders Council requested help. The Bellwind scheme is designed to help councils who face an undue financial burden as a result of large-scale emergencies. It was recently activated in the wake of flooding by Storm Frank at the start of 2017, with millions of pounds given to repair damage in the borders in Aberdeenshire. Finance Secretary Derek McKay said, We are committed to helping our communities remain resilient and this support will help local councils deal with any immediate and unforeseen costs resulting from the recent heavy snowfalls and ongoing cold weather. REUTERSA tractor helps clear the A809 of snow in Scotland. Although we expect to have seen the worst of the severe weather, we are aware there remains a flooding risk in some areas as the snow melts. The Scottish Government has been holding regular meetings of the Scottish Government's Resilience Room, SGOR, to monitor the situation and I would urge people continue to take care and to check for the latest guidance from Police Scotland throughout the day. The Army was called in to help ferry nurses to and from their shifts in Lothian, Fife and Tayside at the height of the storm last week, while yesterday it emerged a snowplow was drafted into a scored a mother and her three-week-old baby to hospital. They were taken by ambulance 110 miles from Wick to Inverness, with conservative MSP Edward Mound saying, I struggle to imagine how traumatic it would have been for mother and baby. Yesterday, the railway suffered from continued disruption with huge snow drifts on the tracks, extreme icing in tunnels and large icicles hanging from overhead wires. A Scotrail Alliance spokesman said, The unprecedented recent weather is still causing some challenges. Our teams have been working day and night to carry out essential safety checks on routes across the country, making sure they are clear from snow and ice, and safe to run passenger trains. Many routes are now clear and open for passengers to travel. We will continue to run test trains on more routes throughout the day. We will run more services when it is safe to do so. High winds yesterday affected a number of CalMax sailings on the West Coast, while Glasgow and Edinburgh airports began to return to normal yesterday but there were still a number of delays and cancellations to flights. The massive operation to restock Scotland's shops and supermarkets continued yesterday, although there were still empty shelves and shortages in many areas. A spokesman for co-op said, safety is our number one priority and we continue to closely monitor the weather. Our stores have experienced high demand as shoppers walk to their nearest convenience store, and as the spokesman said, despite the weather creating some pretty difficult conditions, our colleagues are working hard to get deliveries through and keep our shelves stocked. REUTERSA man shovels snow in carpet. The Scottish government is calling on communities to work together to clear up local roads and pavements and check on vulnerable people. Rural roads and urban streets are maintained by local authorities, but the extent of snow drifts mean areas remain difficult for local people, delivery drivers and pedestrians. Transport Minister Humza Yusuf, who had been leading the severe weather response during the week, has turned his eye to more local events by helping a neighbor clear his driveway. He tweeted, Great pics of folk mucking in to clear their neighborhood and community. 
Sometimes the worst of the weather brings out the best in people. Meanwhile, mass snowball fights were organized in Edinburgh and Glasgow as many people were able to get out and enjoy the snow for the first time without worrying about getting into work.